Hi, my name's Andy, and this is a quick video about how to make levels uh, in Rabbit Escape. Uh, first of all, what is Rabbit Escape? Well, let's have a quick look. Rabbit Escape is a a little game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You have some little rabbits. Um, they come out of that orange entrance thing, and they wander around um, until you tell them to do something. The way you tell them to do something is you grab a token from the left. So this is a digging token, and you place it down somewhere. And when the rabbit picks it up, the rabbit does the thing you said, which is, in this case, to dig. And if you save enough rabbits by getting in, into that green exit there, you won the level, and you can do the next level. There's lots and lots of levels. Um, this video is how to make there be even more um, by joining in the fun that's going on in our level editing community. So what you need to do um, is, from the Rabbit Escape page, you'll find a link there, but... Um, I'll tell you the whole URL just in case. So um, you need to go to the Rabbit Escape Levels Forum. Uh, so that's at artificialworlds.net slash rabbit dash escape slash levels. And uh, when you get, if you just go to rabbit is, rabbit dash escape, that's um, the main page that tells you about Rabbit Escape, and there'll be a link. Um, or you could just Google for Rabbit Escape uh, Android game or something like that. Hopefully you'll find it. There are some other things called Rabbit Escape, but. Um, um, stuff that has this green logo is probably the right one. Uh, and yeah, so you go to rabbit escape slash levels under artificialworlds.net and you'll find this lovely forum, which is where we post our levels. Um, so if you're, if you're working on a level, you, you stick it up on here and people can try it out and play it and, uh, tell you how much they like it or tell you they found a solution that makes it really easy or say how difficult it is or ask for help to solve it. Um, this is where I'm hoping also on this forum we're going to be, we'll discuss levels that are actually released and in the game. It's a good place for people to come and just say, oh, I love this level, or oh, this one had me stuck for ages, so I hated it, or whatever it is. So um, you can see there's a few discussions on here already. Do read the code of conduct to make sure you're nice to people. Um, but I'm going to show you how the level editor works, uh, how you can make a level and then play it uh, in Rabbit Escape. Okay, so how you create a level is, you go to the button here to make a new level, you click on Start a Discussion, and that opens up this box here, uh, and in here you need to give it a name, so I'm going to say um, uh, level uh, Test Level for the Video, something like that, and in here is where you would type in the like what you want to discuss or something like that, but instead of that we're going to put a level in, we're going to use the level editor to create it. The first thing we must do is we'll click on Choose Tags, and we choose a tag here of whoops of level. Um, at the moment, that's just so that we everyone can find level, so they know that um, uh, anything that's got a tag of level uh, is a level. Um, but at some point in the future, what I'm hoping to do is, um, or start hoping for someone to do, possibly me, is improve the PC version and the um, phone or tablet version of Rabbit Escape, so that. It will automatically go and look at this website and find all the levels that are tagged with level, all the posts that are tagged with level, and you'll actually be able to play them inside the game without having to do the stuff that I'm going to show you in this video, which is basically save it to your computer and then load it up in Rabbit Escape. So do make sure you tag your level as level. Also choose a level set. If it's proposed to be part of one of the new upcoming level sets, choose a level set, but if not, just leave it and we'll decide what level set it belongs in at some point. So now we've chosen a level, uh, sorry, chosen a tag. Um, the, the tag was level and we've made a title. We're going to write some stuff in here about uh, our levels. So for example, I hope this one is fun, but it's not really real. And then we're going to click on show level editor. So when I click on show level editor, it opens up the rabbit escape level editor, which is quite new. Um, and hopefully we'll get better over time, but so far it's as good as it is. And it's opened it up with just, um, sort of, a silly useless level. So the first thing that we need to do um, is make it make it a bit bigger. So we've got these plus buttons to make it wider and make it taller and you can also make it shorter again using the minus button. Um, so once we've got that we can rub out um, some of these blocks that we don't want. What type of level should we make? Let's make one that is kind of like a teacup. This is coming to me. Inspiration is coming to me as I make the video. So I think this is going to be a great level. So it's going to look like that, and we can add some slopes. Um, so you can see the level editor. Whereas before, um, when we started out Rabbit Escape, we and we needed to um, type in a load of 
uh, codes and stuff to make it um, to make uh, our own level. Um, things are a little bit better now. Now, what could fill up the teacup? Maybe fire. Maybe there's a load of fire at the bottom. And um, a, a couple of sugar cubes. So the, that code is still behind it. All that, all the um, um, the old way of making levels still works the same. But this is just a user interface that hopefully makes it a little bit easier for people um, who are um, uh, not so comfortable typing in code like that. So what we're going to do is we'll start the rabbit off from up here. And where you've got to get to is inside here, and yeah, that should work. And um, so we, let's say we've designed our level. Well, this is what it looks like. We haven't designed what abilities you've got, stuff like that. So in order to be able to solve this level, you're definitely going to need a bridger and a basher. So let's just call this test level for the video. It, it's a test. And in here, you should put in your name and some kind of web address if you've got one. Maybe just um, the address of you, your user page on the forum if you don't have anything else you want to put in there. Um, you can also put in either encoded hints or non encoded. If you don't know how to encode them, don't worry about that for now. Um, we're going to, I think we need to have, we'll just have one rabbit and you've got to save. The number to save is that one. Um, we won't choose any music at the moment, but we're definitely going to need a basher and a bridger to make this, to solve this level. So once we've done that, um, that's just all the different abilities that you might want and other, part, other bits that describe the level that don't, aren't very graphical. Once you type some stuff in there, you can say update. So at this point, we've designed the full code of the level. And we can actually have a look at the code. And if, you, if you're into that and you know how to do it, you can edit the code by clicking on this here and then um, changing things. But we won't do that. What we'll do once we finish designing that level is just click on the save button. And what that's done is it's pasted in to into this forum post the code of our level. So I'll just make sure there's a, uh, a line after these three backs. These three back ticks are very important. Don't mess with them. We've got three back ticks at the beginning as well. And the and it has to say REL. So don't mess with that stuff that got pasted in by the level editor. Um, now we, we can say post discussion. And now if someone else comes to this forum to have a look at our, uh, look at and see what new levels have been made, um, they'll see our new level, a teacup. Um, and if if they haven't got much space, they're on a phone or something, they can click on the full screen button there and then they can see it more clearly and jump back again. And they can make comments. They can reply and say, oh, I really like this level or something like that. Um, so that's how that can go. Um, but what you want to know is, once I've designed my level, how can I try it out? Well, it's not as convenient as I would like. What I'd like is you could just seamlessly uh, click a button and it would just appear in RabbitScape and everything. Um, and then you edit it and then, you know, and it would all be seamless. So at the moment it's not like that, but we'll gradually get there. It's a lot better now than it was when you just had to type in the code. But I'm going to show you how we can now play this level and see whether, see how well it works in RabbitScape. So you can see most of the, um, the actual forum post, we, the, the comment we made has appeared, but the actual code that got pasted in there has been hidden behind this because it's nicer to look at the graphics. But if we want to play the level, we need to click on show code. And here you can see all of the code of that level. And we need to copy this whole thing. And make sure if there are any blank lines in there, make sure you copy them too. So select that and copy it. And then you can open any kind of text editor you like, like Notepad or um, text editor in uh, on Linux, or I'm using Pluma, which is a text editor on um, Ubuntu Mate, which is what I'm using. Um, so now I've pasted that code into my text editor. I need to save it. So uh, and I'm gonna, I need to give it a name, so I'll call it test level. And what you should do is you should call it .rel as the file name. So give it a name, save it somewhere where you know where to find it, and then save. So now that file's been saved. So now that level is on my computer. So I can open up Rabbit Escape, which I've already started here. So when you when you start Rabbit Escape, you come into this screen. If you go on the custom levels bottom uh, button a bit further down near the bottom click on that and then click on load level then you can uh, find your way to the right folder I'm already in the right folder you can see I've got this um, level saved here called test level I click open and now I'm playing the level so you can see it's not as easy as I would like it to be but it's easy enough to um, de design your level in the editor and then you can come into RabbitScape and play it so let's try it out let's start 
rabbit comes down. Oh, I better pause. Um, so I quickly built my bridge. Now I'll choose my basher. Is this going to work? I think it's going to work. I'll make him bash. Uh, I've won. And that's how you make levels in Rabbit Escape. So just to go through that one more time, click on Custom Levels, Load Level, and go and find your level. And make sure it's called something.rel, and then you'll um, be able to load it up in here. Um, yeah. And yeah, so do come to the Rabbit Escape Levels Forum, artificialworlds.net slash rabbit escape slash levels. Um, and do come along see what levels other people are playing so I can it's not just the level that I've made that I can go and look at if I come back and look at this exciting new level uh, that's posted in the last few days called Bunny Poppins um, I can do exactly the same thing so if I say show code um, and then I copy all of that code and I paste it into, whoops, into a text document in my notepad or something else and save it I save it, I'll call it Bunny Poppins. And I, I, I already had one, so I've overwritten it. Now I can, exactly the same as before, I can jump back to Rabbit Escape, open up that file, and start playing. And it's as easy as that. So come along to the Rabbit Escape um, levels forum, um, have some fun um, with us making levels and uh, telling us which levels you like and um, what clever ways you found of solving them. Um, if you really get into it, um, you'll notice that people um, post solutions that they've found and they do them in a special encoded way. So if you want to find out how to do that so that you don't give away any clues, uh, come onto the forum and ask us. We'll point you the right way for how to uh, encode your solutions. But also, um, if you don't know how to do that yet, feel free to just paste in the solution that you got by describing it or something else. And there's a li one little hint before I finish the video. Um, when you solve a level in Rabbit Escape, if you run it um, uh, inside a console, so uh, if you run it by typing in something like dot slash run rabbit swing, which is the way to start Rabbit Escape in the console, if you've got that code. When you solve a level, so let's try solving the first level in of the game again. When you solve it, Rabbit Escape actually writes out your solution if we exit on the t on the console on the terminal so you can see this is the code for how to solve that level that got printed out um, on the console there so you can copy that out of your console and you can paste it in to a reply on here um, even better is if you put a back tick before and after and then it comes up looking uh, like code like this, which makes it a bit easier to find. Um, and you can paste in your solution, um, and and that describes exactly how you solved it. So um, if someone want, um, wants to know how to solve it, they can see exactly what you did there. So come and have fun with us, designing levels, trying out other people's levels, and we'll see you there.